All right, so this is how you're gonna set up Russian on a patient. Um, this is a little bit different than IES and Premod in that we actually want to get a contraction. Um, usually we'll be doing this on the thigh muscle, um, but for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it on Megan's arm. But if you were to do um, a thigh muscle, you would use the big pads and place it right here and all the way up here, kind of in the middle. Um, for the arm, I've already um, sterilized the pads and cleaned the area, so I'm gonna put them right here and here. When doing Russian or any other electrical stimulation, pad placement is important, but particularly with Russian electrical stimulation, you want to make sure the pads are directly on top of the muscle that you are wanting to contract. And if they are too close together, like Jessica mentions here, then you won't get enough depth into the tissue. So you want to make sure they're not crossing into other areas, but you get them wide enough to allow the muscle to contract. And one important thing to emphasize to the patient when you're doing Russian is that we do want an actual contraction and it most likely will be a little bit uncomfortable, but we still do not want pain. If it's pain, then we need to adjust the treatment somehow or not do it so it's not pain. As we're on, I'm going to come over here to the machine and I'm going to press Russian. The settings are already set up how we want it. And then I'm going to slowly start um, and then I'm going to make sure it's on the right channel as well. And then I'm going to start turning up the intensity. If it does get up to around 30 and you're still not seeing a contraction or getting the results that you want, um, then you might want to try readjusting the pads um, or talking to, ther to a therapist to see if they can place it a little bit better. Before you adjust the pads, make sure that you turn the electrotherapy all the way down before you move the pads. Otherwise, you'll like shock yourself or the patient or both, and that's not fun. I feel that. Okay, um, so we want there to be a strong contraction, but no pain. And while that you do feel the contraction from here, I want you to contract your muscles at the same time. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so these are the different settings on Russian. For regular Russian, you'll just leave it the same, but I'll explain them. So this setting right here is how quickly um, it ramps up to a contraction. Right here, this is how long it's resting versus contracting. So 10 seconds rest, 10 sec seconds contracting. If when you're setting up rush and you see on the patient chart co-contract, what that means is that you are setting up two different pads of Russian and they will contract together if you have it on that setting. So you would set up a red and a red and a black and a black on those machines and then you turn up each one individually. When you press start, then both sides will contract at the same time. <laughs> so if we have Russian co-contract, that means that you're getting two channels, but they're going at the same time. So they're contracting at the same time. So on Megan here, we have a red and a red right here, which is stimulating this muscle. And then we'd have a black and a black here that's stimulating this muscle. So you have to turn up this one and start it, and then turn up this one and start it, and then they will go at the same time after you start the second one. So this is common if you're doing it like on a leg, you may do the inside of the leg and then the outside of the leg, if that is the case.